Hello everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and my studio. First things first, I want to thank Corolla for her super chat right in the beginning. That was that was very sweet. So thank you. I uh, I would like to welcome you all here. Got my cardio in. Good to see you. And I realized today, like there's a stain on my shirt and my it's all stretched out. And I, you know, you know, what are you gonna do? I was gonna be fancier. But I'm actually going live tonight as well for a Crop and Create meet and greet. That's a class that's going on this weekend. Registration has long since closed, but I'm going to be fancier tonight. Well, I mean, I'm going to put on a different shirt. <laughs> you know, you know that there it is. Anyway, welcome, everyone. It's good to see many faces popping up in the chat. Again, the super chat. Thank you so much. Uh, that was very awesome. And I actually, I set something up in my software that hopefully... Every time there's a super chat, it's going to make this noise and I'm going to, I'm going to know. And yes, Lori Clark, I believe, uh, fancy's overrated. I'm not fancy. <laughs> you can ask Jennifer McGuire. Some of our conversations prove I'm not fancy. Okay. Well, welcome everyone. I want to show you what I've got on the table. Should I? Shall we do it? Um, I have to tell you something. When I, when I was, when I turn on my software, all the cameras are flipped None of the buttons were working and I'm just like, I don't know how long this is, why this happens every time, but it happens and there you go. But that's for another day. Let's put on the glasses that let us see. Ooh, and uh, <clears throat> yes, I'd like to welcome my friend Jennifer McGuire. Stay tuned to Jennifer because there might be something fun that she's gonna have invite me in to do with her. So that's all I'm gonna say for right now. Right, Jen? Okay. I'm family. Okay, so I've got Gina's kit. I've got Gina's kit, and she gifted that to me, which is amazing. Thank you, Gina K. I love you. It's it's a really great release, and there's so many fun things in it. And I I love the stands of trees. So I want to do something today with the trees. Don't know if I'm going to use the deers, and I actually don't think. I'm going to use the layering of those yet. I actually just want to make a scene with the trees because I love the trees. And so I've pulled some inks. Now, please don't look at these. Um, my little sample dots were in the sun the whole time they were in the uh, craft slash dining room and they all faded. So those have to be replaced. Right now in my studio, because I have blinds, I actually can protect all the dots that are, well, that are on my, yeah. Hi, welcome everyone. Glad to have you here. Now, let me move my mouse out of the way so I don't inadvertently kill the stream. And let's open this up and start with some stamping. Can we start with some stamping? All right. Also, if you are wondering, this, this is live. And I know that sometimes, well, I film pretty much 95% of my videos in a live format, meaning I record them while I'm talking and making all the sounds and then I edit them. And when I have those videos, I do premieres because I love to be able to chat in the comments and I think it's kind of fun, but they, they might look like they're all the same, but I promise you, this one is live. You don't know what's going to happen. In fact, I could, you know, make a hot mess and then we'd, you know, we'd just be talking about, well, I don't even know what we'd be talking about, but okay. So we have this and I have cardstock. This is a piece of, now wait a minute, how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? I had an idea. Okay, I, <laughs> I have an idea. So I have these A2 layer masks from Simon Says Stamp. I use these a lot um, because I love them. And what I'm thinking, although I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Well, we'll see. Stay with me here, people, because I'm gonna set you guys here. I kind of want to create a scene inside a mask, but I feel like if I'm gonna do that, I don't really wanna stamp through the mask. So here's the question. Do I, <laughs> oh, thank you, Deirdre. That's so kind of you, another super chat. Now I didn't hear it that time, so maybe I gotta turn up my volume. There we go. Um, I know what I want to do, but I think I'm going to have to do it maybe with masking paper. Hmm. Do you think I can stamp through a mask? That's my question to you. I think that maybe I can. So let me get my bigger Misty. Okay. Hold on. 
You should I use masking tape? Okay, hold on. Let me get some. All right. So I do have some masking strips. And maybe but see, here's the thing. I don't I don't hold tight. Look, here, here's what I'm gonna, it won't go up to the edge. Okay, so maybe, maybe what I need to do, oh, I have an idea, okay. Boy, I, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I'm a, I'm a pro, I'm a professional, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to use tape, okay. So here's what we'll do. We're gonna take this, we're gonna get out some of Gina's strips. Now, what is the widest strip she has in here? Is it the, Hold on here. Is it the half inch? Does she have a full inch? There's the BBs and those guys. You know, I could just do, let's see here. Masking tape is thinner. See, this stuff is great, so I'm gonna try it. Wait, should, <laughs> should I try stamping through here or not? Because that's what I, that's what I don't know if I want to do. The half inch strip isn't quite what I want. So here's what we're going to do. Yeah. Wish me luck. Okay. Uh, I should have prepped some of this before, but I know what I want to do. And hopefully, okay. Hopefully it's going to work. The one thing that I love about Gina's uh, masking magic is that it is great. Like it works so well. I don't have any mint tape, no. Um, but I, I, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. And I think it's going to work. It might not, but I think I don't have any wider tape. That's the problem. So do I have enough? I have hardly. Emma, Emma Lou, don't you worry. I don't know what I'm doing either. But trust me, when you see what I'm doing, It'll all make sense. And I didn't really need to go this far in. And it seems like I'm wasting tape, but I'm not. I'm going to put it right back down and uh, we're, we're going to, we're going to make it work. Yes, I'm, <laughs> this is, this is why videos are edited, right? Because, because you know what I should have done with this? Oh, Kathy. Okay. What I should have done, now let me see how the stand looks in here though. Oh, oh, okay. Is it too late to make a change? Here's why. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. This will work. Okay. <laughs> I'm saving all of it. So anyway, uh, Charlene wanted to know about my life story. Why don't I tell you that while I trim a panel down, okay? I was born in Seattle. It was a gray, and foggy day. Uh, it's funny when you have an idea. Let me grab my paper trimmer. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. I gotta do this. I gotta do this real quick. It's all gonna make sense. All right, we're gonna go three and three quarters by five. There we go. That's what we wanted. And now we we continue with our tape. Okay. All right, hang in there with me, people. <laughs> I promise. I promise it's going to work, but I got to get this lined up right on the edge because I don't want any... Well, it, you know what? No, I didn't do that right. Hold on. <laughs> so, how's everyone doing? This is why... This is why lives are fun because you don't... Well, you don't know. You don't know. Okay. You, is that long enough? Yeah, I think it will be. And then you, okay, come on now, get on there, Kathy. Okay, tape, good. I get hair in there? No, okay. Jewels, not tools, pick it up, people. Okay, so, how's everyone doing? Yeah, I have no wine today, um, although I have a nice stash, but today I need to keep it I need to keep it copacetic because I uh, I am doing an event tonight and with for crop and create and I don't think I should have a glass of wine because you know what 
I don't think that would work. Okay, this is literally all I wanted to do. <laughs> okay, and that's almost, that's gonna be fine. We're not gonna, well, actually, well, we're gonna stamp. Let's stamp, shall we? And I don't need my big Misty. Mm. All right, let's see. Oh, I should keep my phone handy in case there's something that someone has to text me, meaning my moderators. Okay, we're good. Okay, that only took 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, so we have our cardstock, and the thing that I want to do, I want to be vertical with this. So we're going to take out our tree stand. I'll take it from the top. Uh -huh. I guess I'm not gonna use those masks. I wanted to create the masking look and uh, that's still the plan. It's still the plan, but I wanna have my trees down here. And it will make sense once we, once we get it going. All right, there we go. Are we, no, you know what? This is my, my grip mat is not as sticky as it has been because it needs to be washed, so. Let's put you down in the corner like that and bring you in. Okay, that should be enough. There we go. You know what, I, do you see my vision? I have a vision and that's what we're gonna do. Now I've been handling that like crazy, so powder is probably gonna stick all over it, but that's okay because it will just look like snow. Jennifer, the mat that is in my Misty is the grip mat. This is the four and three quarter by six one or six. Yeah, I think it's four and three quarter by six. I am priming this right now. <laughs> and that, here's the thing. I know I sometimes there there is no real prep before I make before I go live. I always have a plan when I'm filming, but when I go live, I'm never completely sure. So hopefully this reminds you that half the time, none of us know what we're doing until we get into it. And uh, that's all well and good. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my anti-static powder. 3 a.m., oh my goodness. Well, you know what? I feel like I need to re-powder this. Oh no, there it is, it's coming, it's coming. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna stamp this in the Versamark. We're gonna emboss it in Gina's white powder and we're gonna ink blend. And hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it'll look good. Well, Grammy, I, I only know one way. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna hit it with the Versamark. I've been using this pad lately. I don't know why. I go through phases where sometimes I literally was using my Simon pad for a year and then I needed a dryer pad for something, uh, then I switched to this. Did the feed just freeze? Hopefully not. I, I seem to try restarting and coming back in. And someone could let me know if I'm <laughs> still out there live in, uh, you know, the land. All right, there we go. I'm gonna stamp it again like this. And yes, Jennifer was right. This just was not going to go right to the edge the way I wanted it. And that, my friends, is why you hope that the goat shows up. Thank you, Jen. <laughs> okay, I think that's good enough. So let's get a piece of paper. And uh, where's that powder? There we go. Alrighty, put that blade away because I am going to hurt myself. I think I have gotten the detail that I need, right? Also, welcome everyone. If you're just joining, I'm Kathy, I'm live. And I spent 10 minutes setting this up. But you know, if it pays off in the end, it will have all been worth it. And well, just stay there. Okay. And that's all, that's all we care about. Finished results. No, that's not true. We care about the process, right? It's all about the process. Yeah, okay. No, I won't, Jennifer. I know that much. <laughs> the tape will stay. The tape will stay, and then I will have to re maybe, um, I'm sprinkling on fine detail white powder. Okay, like that. And tap, tap, tap. See, see the trees? See the forest for the trees? 
That's exactly what I wanted to do. Okay. Oh, <clears throat> okay. We're getting a little humid. It is very humid today and I don't have my air on because um, it's just too, it's too cool. I see only a few places to clean up. All right, those are my trees. Okay, and funnel. Okay, I'm gonna go there for now. And, oh, you know what I need? Let me grab a Swiffer cloth. Where did you guys go? Had to open a fresh box. <laughs> I love these things, but I actually took some downstairs. Um, so that I could clean a very dirty living room shelf. Now, I'm going to show you my hot tip for this. Well, I'm going to pick up the extra powder, but I take a corner, I fold it in half, I take my scissors, and go like that, and I cut a little hole. And then I, I have one of these magnets from uh, Glassboard Studio. My desk is magnetic on the sides. It's like a metal or something. And then I can just hang it on the side of my desk and it's always at the ready. I'm, I'm just full of good ideas. Okay, so we're looking here. I am gonna take my little brush and just go like that. Here it doesn't really matter um, because like I said, it will look like snow and I haven't decided, but I might add snow too, all right? Okay. Uh, white embossing, does it melt quicker? Uh, you know what? I don't do much with colored embossing. Um, so I don't know. I have some red powders, but I feel like it, it kind of depends on a couple of things. Like one, how long do you heat up your heat tool? So let's, let's heat this up. And let's, let's try not to have the tape fall off. All right. Oh, Jennifer, that's really smart. I don't. I'm very wasteful. I I always point this just straight up, <laughs> so I don't so I don't accidentally like burn something, like my microphone. That would not be good. Okay. I want it to be very warm because I don't want to spend a lot of time, you know. All right, here we go. Go fast. Oh, there we go. All right, my friends, I think we got it all. And the masking magic appears to be holding it's ground. Okay. So we're going to set that there. Let me get um, my bigger mat. And I don't need the big, big mat, but I'm going to do it. And then I'm going to put a little more tape on the edge there because I didn't quite get that covered, but I don't think you're going to notice. Wait, who's talking about empanadas? I have, I have a story about empanadas many years ago. I, uh, I subscribed to Martha Stewart Living, and I'm talking many years ago. And do you remember those inserts in Martha's Magazine? I don't know if she still does them, the little tear outs that was like a dessert and a meal and a whatever. Well, one time Martha had uh, empanadas. They were the most delicious thing I've ever made. Well, one of the most. And it took me seven hours to make. Never made them again, but they were really good. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little more of that Gina tape, just a little strip from one of the smaller strips. Just because I don't I don't want it to get on the edge, and so I feel like if I cover up the part that I mucked up, we're gonna be protected and everyone's gonna be happy. Now here's the thing, this might not work. Pre-prison? What? <laughs> back in the old days, um, but I think this will work. Now, one of the nice things about a grip mat um, is that even when your paper is a little warped, and you can see that, right? It kinda, kinda got a little warpy. Hey, Kelly, nice to see you here. Um, okay, you go there. It will, it will help to hold things down a little bit flat, okay? And that's what I'm hoping for. Now, I don't 
now you know what I'm gonna have to add a little more around the edges but that's okay see how it's kind of clinging and now you know what I'm not gonna waste uh, I'm not gonna waste masking tape I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab a, a post-it tape because I can see little parts of the paper all right <laughs> okay how's that there we go that'll keep it you know here, here's what I'm gonna do spoil the rod tell the child he's he's just we're just gonna do this because I want this to be how I want it to be now here's here's a question for you out in craft land do you ever hoard supplies and then you think um, I just didn't get enough use or do you ever hoard supplies and then you don't use them because I've done that before. And that's why I have so much masking magic because I'm afraid to use it because I feel like, well, what if I need some? Well, guess what? Today I need some. And I also need to turn on the air conditioning because you know what? It's just a little too hot in here for me. Okay. Okay. So we are prepped and it's 1223. Holy buckets, Charlie. It's going to take it's going to take some time, but here's what we're going to do. We're going to create a beautiful winter sky, a beautiful winter sky. And I'm going to grab my brushes, kind of get them primed up. All right. I mean, that's the thing. It's like, you gotta, you gotta use supplies. You gotta get them out, you know, it, and then if you find something you really love, right, then you replace it. But I've had these masking magic strips basically since I bought a pack when Gina released the strips and I have not really done much with them. But here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to start. Now, let me make sure. <laughs> let me make sure. Was that ocean mist? Yes. All right. Oh, my goodness. Okay. I'm going to go now. Oh, wait. I need some hydration. See, Vicky? Hydration. Mm. Hi, Jennifer. Okay back in there let's do it so we're coming in these are all nicely down and we're just doing the old embossed resist and the trees will start to come into view because they're in white okay how's it going out there I should watch with I should watch what I'm doing and I think this will work I don't know we're starting I, and I, I know I could have brought in pink and oranges, but just, you'll see. You'll see what's happening. All right. The first color that we are bringing in is ocean mist. All right. Then we're going to do this. We're going to bring in a little turquoise sea. Okay. Load that up. Now, I am going to tap a little off because I, I haven't used this pad in a while. I think it's pretty juicy. And we're going to go... A little darker through here. Okay. Working our way up. Hey, Jennifer McGuire, what are you doing? I just heard the snap, the super chat. Thank you, Jennifer. The the only way I could figure out how to do it, uh, I use a program called Ecam Live, and they just released a new version where you can create uh, your computer to do something and to and I want to know when people do super chats Jennifer I still have Jennifer McGuire is my friend I've known her for a long time and I I don't just name drop I've known her for a long time <laughs> we go back but she sent me a half case of wine to celebrate 75,000 subscribers oh and that reminds me by the way we're bringing in wild wisteria um these the 75,000 subscriber special is still being planned. I I need to get through Stamp Timber. And as soon as I get through Stamp Timber, I'm scheduling it and there will be a blog post that coordinates with it and uh and lots of giveaways, like $1500 in giveaways. That's going to be great. Oh, I guess I don't need that. Um let's just do that. <laughs> Sick going to work. So that is coming. I, I I still have to coordinate. And it's just going to be a live stream. But it will have bloopers. And it will have Dan. 
and hopefully some surprise guests. All right, we're bringing in the wild wisteria now, and I, I think this is going to look good, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, winter. Hello, winter sky. Now we're getting it. Now we're getting it. Ooh, love it. All right, well, here we go. Let's get into that a little there. It's getting up there. It's like a... Gosh, I love those colors. Mm, so good. Okay. It's looking good, right? Now I am going to bring in a little plum punch, which might seem like, well, Kathy, why would you do that? Well, we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm going to take a little plum punch. I am going to tap this off because that's such a firecracker of a color, right? And then we're going to come up, up here, like that. Mmm. Yes, pick that up. Waste not, want not. Okay, but I've got to go darker and you'll see, you'll see the solution shortly. It's actually a very warm uh, color, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, we're making our sky, we're making our dreams come true. Plum punch for the win. Now, there's a little more that we're going to do here and that is um, I'm going to do just a little more wild wisteria right in that little transition area. I'm not even going to, all right, like right in there. There we go. Okay. All right. Gosh, I hope this works when I take it off. Okay. And then I'm going to do a very Gina move. Okay. I'm going to do it. It's going to be a move. And that is we're going to bring in some G Gina's in the Navy. All right, I need a different brush though. There we go. Now, you all know with the kits. Oh wait, Kay Furnish, it's your birthday today? Oh, happy birthday, Kay. 75 years young, woman. There you go. What a great day to be born. My mother's birthday is at the end of the week and she, oh, and she uh, will be, 89? 89. She'll be 89 years young. And I did not get her card in the mail, but we're not going to talk about that because I'll just call her. Oh, firecracker. Okay. Here's the thing. We got to, we got to be mindful with this one. Look at that. Just tapping it out, tapping it out, tapping it out and come in. See, I wanted to blend this with that plum punch, but it might've overpowered it. So we'll see. We'll see. Just wanted a little layer of color in there. And I can come back with a little more plum punch. That is so much color. Um, let's do it a little, just a little bit more. Sometimes when you're blending, I know, <laughs> make it right. <laughs> you know, all that matters is that she gets the call. You know, they, but they do keep all my cards. They keep all my cards. It's very sweet. It is very sweet. All right, I think I'm done. I think that's that's a sassy. Look at that color. It's just, I mean, I hate to waste it, but I'm going to wipe it up and we're going to move on. And someone asked me once, oh, it's Dalton's birthday. Happy birthday, Dalton. How fun, Mindy. He's a teenager. Um, someone said, you know, you can, you can tip, put things in the top of your, uh, Thing, but I, it's a, it's a, it's a neat neck thing for me. And I'm always like, I don't know if I want to do that, you know? So, okay. Now we're going to take our lovely little, uh, cloth. I know I'm a little off centered here. And we're just going to go over here where, where we see the ink. Now here's a question. While it's smoothing, should I put on some snow or do I want the snow to extend outside of the I got an idea. I got to do it. You know, see how it, it actually resists it quite nicely. Let me grab my brush. I don't know if I can do snow because I can't wash it. So here's what we're going to do. Let me grab, I got to use some water for my water. It'll make sense. Um, all right. Yep. Okay. Got to get you. Got to get you. 
Got a couple more things to get. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I got a plan. I got a plan and it's coming together. I got a plan. Just overlapping a little more. There we go. Get up there. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take some of our ice cold drinking water. What am I rubbing my brushes on? Um, paper towel. <laughs> Just, just paper towel. I need some water, but I don't need the ice. It, it'll make sense in a minute. I'm not splattering on water. I'm going to do paint, um, but I don't have any way to get up and wash my brushes because our bathroom is still being remodeled. Why is it still being remodeled? Because we are doing it ourselves. And by we, I'm not talking about me. Okay, I like the pop of plum. And you know, you know how when Gina's stuff starts to dry, it's like, well, it smooths out like it's airbrushed. Okay, here we go. Picking you up. I don't want these to come off yet, so come on. This is a little more than I had planned, but you know what? It's gonna work. We want to keep all these together. All right, come on. Okay. There we go. You are coming off. There we go. There's a lot. You know, sometimes when you're doing a card, there's a lot of steps. And I hope this works. I think it's going to. But I'll show you. We're going to get some snowy sky happening. All right. There we go. So I'm going to bring in, not that, my splat box. Okay. And I'm going to take one of my acrylic blocks uh, that I can't find. Down here, yes. Oh, no, mm, eh, no, there we go. All right. So I need to cover my computer for a second. Okay, like that, that way, hopefully it does not get covered with uh, this stuff, which is my favorite white ink. It's the Amsterdam acrylic in titanium white. I have another one, the Dr. Martens. I have not figured out how to use it. And you know, I, I did something the other night where I had to put snow on something. It looked, I didn't splatter or spatter. I just used my gel pen. It looked so precise and non-random that I was like, Kathy, you just ruined it. And I had to start over. I had to start over. The cutting tool, um, which cutting, you mean this little guy? The pen blade, the magical pen blade, it's a pen blade. I always link these in the supplies. Um, Simon Says Stamp used to carry them and they don't seem to now. I don't know why, they're dangerous though. They are dangerous. Okay, we're gonna squeeze a little paint into the dropper. We're gonna put it on our block. We don't need much, okay? This stuff lasts forever, it just gets kind of goopy. All right. How is the audio? It, is this, I, I think I just got way too close to my mic, but anyway. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We got a little water here. That's why I needed the water because otherwise the paint's going to ruin my, uh, my brush. We start off like this. And then we bring snow to the valley. And then sometimes I just go like that because I just, I want it to be snowy. And the lighter it gets, the more it gets, or like the more that comes off the brush, it gets lighter and lighter and lighter and lighter. Like that. And that's it. And now we rinse in here. And because I don't have a sink, I am going to just wipe this off. But I'm not going to let it sit there very long because I don't want any paint to actually, uh, what's the word, stick to the tape, the masking tape. Normally, when I do uh, this sort of thing, I run down to the kitchen or I would run into the bathroom. But the problem is, I think that's pretty good. We don't, we don't have a sink or any running water other than the toilet. And I don't... I don't think that's a good idea. So I'm gonna take this guy, put you on the floor and try not to knock it over. Okay, 
Uh, I've thought about it. Like, oh, it's pretty clean in there. What about just for rinsing off brushes? Alas, we're not going to do that. Okay, so there's my scene. Now, I hope that the uh, that the masking magic did its job. If it didn't, if it didn't, uh, it's okay because I can always just trim it down and turn it into a panel. So let's do some peeling and revealing. Okay, that's the first layer. Remember, that's the or that's the second layer. We got to get off here like that. Okay. And then now we got to go for the real layer. So here we, well, eh, this is where the magic happens. That's, that's a beautiful crisp line. That makes me very happy. Jewels, not tools. I don't think I need jewels for this. Oh, Lord have mercy. This is exactly what I was hoping would happen. Uh, how does this guy go? Let's take you. There's that one. And let's, it's coming. This is, tape is underneath. There we go. We'll reach it. I'm also trying not to use my nails too much because uh, this nail polish, this color in particular, it actually tends to rub off on the panel. <gasps> Magic, masking magic. Gina K designs the masking is magic. Okay, all right, I gotta go. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Look at that. That's that's the masking magic. And again, is that kind of weird to have the sky? No, no, that's not weird. And that's my tree stand. And now I'm super excited. So here's what we're gonna do next. I am going to stamp a greeting from this set oh snap hold on okay that was that was fortuitous all right so I do need to wipe a little bit more where I had there we go there we go buff you off like that there we go looking good okay so let's get my misty back and I'm going to wipe this off for a second because I'm just going to stamp a very simple greeting. All right. And another thing too, if you ever feel like your ink has gotten on a little more than you want, I will show you something that I'm not afraid to do. Like if it's not coming off all the way or it looks a little, you know, shaded, um, you can take, and I haven't done this before, so I'm going to do it right now. You can take a little bit of ultra clean, okay? Or our stamp cleaner here Arts has a good one. And then let me grab what I need because I like to use a little sponge tool. These are little uh, sponge applicators from Simon Says Stamp. And here's what I do. Just a little, okay? And Swirl it around like that. It's very, and then kind of tap, tap, tap. You don't want a lot on here, but then you're just gonna lightly go over the trees. And even if it takes a little ink, it's not even gonna matter. There was just a little extra purple on there that I did not want. And I think that's gonna be just fine. All right, beautiful. Now let's stamp our greeting. Actually, it looked like it took nothing off at all, but we'll set you, we'll set you over there. All right. So for my greeting, I want to use, uh, let's see here. I think I might want to just do a winter wishes or happy holidays would be nice too. Now, if I was going to go classic Gina style, I could do this on a black or let me show you something. So this is my Gina K Designs swatch ring. And uh, I'm trying to figure out like what would look, and it, it, it might need to be black. Because I don't think, 
actually, I don't know, sometimes if I take the flip side, we could do, now I don't think plum punch would work. I don't think, I'm, I'm trying to decide if I wanna do something other than black, that's the question. Because, uh, hmm. it's funny how Blue Lagoon looks so different sometimes when you're initially like going to grab it but hmm what about I feel like I'm gonna do black or plum punch plum punch could be cool for this but see this is instantly just warming it up so much down there that I don't I don't love it oh navy do I have any in the navy what if I did do that I mean, black is always, oh, I have blue denim. Actually, blue denim would be nice. Huh. But black would too. You know what? Let me see what I can grab here. Um, Gina, Gina, Gina. Do I have, and I think I do, I am going to grab a blue denim. Let me, let me cut a few pieces here. Hold tight. Uh -huh. I'm gonna try this. There's one. See, isn't that pretty, actually? And let's get some black onyx. Uh, Gina, do we have black onyx? We do. All right. All right. And let's try that. Okay. I I know I'm wearing shorts. Um, I'm not in pajama pants. I did take a shower because I figured, well, you know, why not? I actually feel like this could be very pretty, but we're going to do both. We're going to do both. So moving you, moving you. See, that is that is a thing. Will, will that take away? And it might. Now, this might be too dark, but I, I'm going to try it anyway. So what did we decide? Happy holidays? Yes. I like happy holidays. We're going to try one here. Wait, no, wait, I grabbed the wrong one. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, Kathy. Now, Deep Navy. See, this is, isn't that the Deep Navy? Hold on a second. Did I not cut the Deep Navy? Okay. All right. Hold on. We're going to cut one more. And then all this will get cleaned up. All right, four and a quarter. No pajamas today. All right. That must be blue denim. Yeah, we'll see. Okay, let me zoom out a little. It's getting a little, it's getting a little wild in here. Uh, pick you up and go like that. Okay, a little prime time and press uh let's see here there you are there you are powder of mine i'll do a couple i'll do a couple hey emma emma i didn't recognize your uh icon because it's a different color today oh wait fog oh you know what i love that idea hold on uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Are we talking, are we talking fog or smoke? Cause smoke has a little more depth to it. All right. Okay. Uh, well done. I'm still going to stamp these cause we're going to make some choices. I wish I had a bigger desk. I'm going to cut some. All right. Oh, Jennifer, you can. That's just it. I'm not good. I just look at what I've done today. I make mistakes. I don't know what I'm doing. We're going to let you go like that. We're going to come here. doesn't really matter where it goes. Drop it down. Uh, pick you up. Okay. I'm just going to do a few. I think I got that on Crooked, so I think we're probably not going to do that one. I love the spacing of this typography. Okay. So there's those. Now I'm going to take a piece of fog 
and I'm just going to cut it with my scissors. I don't need to go get my trimmer. But I, I do think white powder, right? I think white would be nice because it doesn't need, it doesn't need silver necessarily. I don't have any of Gina's silver. Actually, I need this to be straight, so. Okay, let's do that. We're drying it, we're drying it, we're drying it. Okay, Jennifer, good try, good call. I mean, if you can't be crafting right now, I'm okay with taking suggestions. Okay, powder up. Where will this go? I don't know, oh, are, are you hinting? <laughs> I love I love to send things to Gina when I make things with her kit, but you can you can just see like this is just one simple idea, whole kit, so great. Hey Dana, how are you? All right, let's try this and see. We've got three options. Oh, I I might still mat it. That I haven't decided. You, wait, you meant. <laughs> Here, you know what, Kathy? We're gonna just do things. Here's the thing, I wish I had, uh, I wish I had a moderator sometimes. Meaning, no, 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 Beth, or Emma and Beth, not a moderator. I wish I had someone in studio uh, only for this. Um, but then I would want them to go, namas go. You know what I mean? <laughs> because I miss things. But you know what? It's all good. No, Dana, at the point we're going, I'm going to be here for another 17 hours trying to figure all this out. That looks pretty good. You know, and then I have options, right? But I don't... Oh, I did not do a good job with that at all. Let's, just, let's see this. I still think this is pretty. I don't know why. Is this the blue denim? All right. I did not powder up very well at all. So here we go. There we go. Jennifer's going to be doing lots of lives soon. She's going to be all over the live. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm throwing things. Hold on, hold on. You. Okay, the reality is, I wish I had more desk space because I'm telling you, the studio's great, but it's small. You got a little, got a little schmutz in there. And so what you do is you just touch it like that. Right? And the little guy there. Okay. Let's melt this one first. What? See? She just let the she just let the cat out of the bag. Amy. Truer words never spoken. All right. I can't do these yet because All right, I'm gonna do this one. And this one, I think I just mucked it up way too much. Yeah, I did. That one's not gonna work. Okay. Let me... <laughs> Let me grab some sentiment dyes, all right? Dana, Joy, it's mine too. Fog is really beautiful. And this actually could look really nice. So let me see something. Where did I put, I gotta find something here. And I don't know if I have the long enough sentiment strips for this. Oh, uh, no, I, I don't, is that? Yeah, no, let me grab a different set. All right, um, sentiment labels, there we go. All right, we're gonna cut these and I, I don't even know if I can actually rotate my uh, machine because 
there's so much stuff on my desk right now. But we're gonna try. I feel like this sentiment label is a lovely size. I can't go smaller, right? No, that'll be nice. And so let us bring our mat in, our cutting mat, and move these things over like this. All right. And I'm going to pop it down like that. And I'm going to cut. Uh, let's go like that. I think my magnet will hold, right? Yeah. So happy holidays like that. Oh, it, you know what, Laura, I should take a picture of the crafter math because it's horrible. And we're going to run it through. Oh, die cut cam. There we go. Haven't been much on today. I am going to cut them both. <laughs> I'm going to cut them both, ladies. Oh, did I just do a crapola job? Well, you know what? We're going to see. I'm going to set you down like that. Okay. Let's bring it in. Bring in the this guy. See, because I did, did I use, I did use this color, didn't I? No, I didn't. But I, I do think it's kind of pretty. All right. That doesn't want to stay down with the magnet. So let's, oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's come over here. It's a little little warpy. Come on. You can do it. Okay. That looks pretty good, right? Let's do it. Cutting it out. <laughs> and I cut cam. All right. I still have this uh, navy over here too. All right. I hate to... Uh, I hate to cut into the end of people's lunch hour, but I think today, you know, even when I think that I'm going to do something quickly, oftentimes, I don't. I don't. I actually, mmm, 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 mmm. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to do, see the navy strip. Boy, I don't know. It's, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Wait, what about the village people? Okay, let's just, now we don't have this card built yet. I don't know if I'm going to mat it and I'm going to trim this down. I want you to look at that. Okay. And then I want you to look at that. You know, I think the blue is really nice. I think the blue is actually really nice. The question that I don't know is is am I gonna put this, I don't want it up top. I want the sky to be open. I definitely wanna base it here at the bottom. And I think all I wanna do is just cut a little so that this just peeks out a little on the edge. Um, we like it, we like this, or should we try, should we stamp the navy and just try it? There's no harm in doing it real quick because I literally have it right here. So we're gonna do it and just see. Okay. Uh, we're going to do Navy. I mean, it's straight enough. <laughs> you know, I, it, okay. Well, yeah. Christine, you know, here's the thing. I think the Gemini is great because it has fewer plates. And right now, oh, did I? Yeah. Right now, fewer plates is kind of great. I am really liking it. However, yeah, it's going to be fine. Um, I do think the Gemini Junior is a great machine. You know, I love it and I have loved having it, but I am absolutely loving this machine. I really, I really have. It's really great. So this is the Navy and I think that's the blue denim and I have a feeling this might be the one we want, but I, and I do this too. Like if I'm, you know, filming a video and I think something doesn't work, I'll just refilm something um, still in this live format that I, that I film in, you know, but I'll, I'll just say, Hey, we got time. There's no need to not do what you don't want to do. Okay. So coming around. I didn't really powder this up super well. I do this lately where I go, and sometimes it gets just enough of the extra off. 
but I think, I think that looks good. Okay. Um, yeah, Dana, I, my Gemini Junior, my Gemini 2, which Crafter's Companion did send to me, and that was very gracious of them. It is set up in the other room um, with the bigger plates. Uh, I bought smaller plates, but the uh, other Gemini is in my closet. Okay, let's melt this. Wow, that's really crisp. Okay. Um, that still looks pretty good. All right, coming back around. And still want to remember how pretty that is there. Okay. How's everyone doing? It's nice to have you. It's nice to have you here. Appreciate you being here for my live. Uh, remind me, I got a promotion. Actually, I'll tell you about it right now because I will forget. Uh, October 7th, World Card Day. The folks, Mary Gun Fun Gun, Mary Fun Gun invited me to be a, a card maker on that day. And it's going to be fun. I, I had a blast the last time I did it. It's kind of fun because you don't have to think about teaching. But it's Saturday, October 7th. There are going to be some great sponsor giveaways. We've got Pear Blossom Press, Trinity Stamps, Hero Arts, Simon Says Stamp, my favorite things. There's a bunch of sponsors for the event. So pop it on your calendar. I'm going to be at like 430 Central. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun. And I wanted to not forget to tell you that because I haven't. I'll put it in my newsletter for sure. But uh, while I'm thinking about it. All right, let's get the head in the way this time. Because I think I did put it crooked on the... Is, it's a little crooked, but you know what? It's going to be fine. All right, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Do it. Run it through. Die cut cam. Here we go. All right. Well, Carol, Carol Cole, I got a tip for you. All right. Uh, so my live streams, <laughs> I think it's a little confusing. I go live every Wednesday at noon central time, except for the first Wednesday of every month, I'm going to start going live or I go live at 7 p.m. central because, you know, there's a lot of people who are working during the day. And just because my job during the day happens to be here crafting, um, I like I like to give people an opportunity to join in the, the live fun in the evenings as well. OK, here's what's weird. I don't know what we're doing for the base of this card yet. I want you to look at this. I know it's going to be hard. Uh, Laura, there's a link in the description for my newsletter. Uh, it just says my newsletter. Click on that. Easy to subscribe. There's that or there's the Navy. You know what? I personally think this blue looks better. Hold on. Why am I blanking? Is it blue denim? Yeah, you know what? I think the blue denim is prettier and I'll tell you why. It sort of bridges the gap between all of the colors. Like it kind of condenses it all into one. So I am going to do blue denim, yeah. What I don't know yet is what is the card base, but yet, you know what? I, I want it to be white. So hold on just a second here. Let me grab, because I don't, well, I don't think a blue denim note card is what I want on this, although that's pretty. Huh. But but the, the only reason I would say that I'm not going to do that is because then this would really have to go edge to edge. Do we like that, though? You know what? While the paper's out, hold on. Because even though... You know, I don't I don't mat my things very often the way Gina does. I love what she does. And that's partly why I enjoy the uh, what am I looking for here? Zoom out the master layout series, uh, because it allows you to cut them without thinking. And I love that she always has the uh, little shadow layer that's perfectly sized. And I do have master layouts one, but I think that what I actually think I'm going to do this, huh? I think the edge to edge would look good. You're right, Sylvia. You're right. Okay, so there's my note card. I'm gonna take this shut because it pops open. And 
Yes, I'm proud of myself. I never use colored uh, card bases. Let me get some foam tape. Because I, I mm, wait a second. Actually, if I'm doing this, I need to cut this to size. So do I wanna just put it on and then manually trim it? Let's say we're gonna do that. I'm gonna take a little pencil mark and just go right there and over here. That way, let me get my baby trimmer. I don't like to, I would do this with a die, but I didn't cut this with a die. So we're gonna take our baby trimmer. We can see that because it's shiny. And let's get you lined up. Cut, flip it. Lip it good. Okay. Oh, thank you, Carol. Yeah, if you subscribe to my newsletter, I have a free swatching chart that you may enjoy for markers. Uh, it's kind of fun. Now let's see how I did there. Is that pretty close? We are so close. I think I could come over just a little bit on that side. All right, I'm taking a tiny bit off. Minuscule. Like that. Okay, that way we do have an edge to edge. I am going to pop that up. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, okay. Did it, did it. All right, let's put our foam tape on. Also, uh, I've got a lot of uh, mucky muck on here. All right, I'm going to use the Ultinew tape today because I like big tape rolls and I, well, I cannot lie. I don't like that. Get my Simon scissors that I like to cut with because the tape, this tape doesn't stick. All right, we're getting right to the edge. There we go, put it on camera. I do, I do dream of a giant desk, but I gotta tell you, my desk, my desk is really deep. And so I feel like no matter where you're crafting or who you are, you're never gonna have enough space, <laughs> right? All right, there we go. So, someone the other day on a on a premiere said, "I really miss I miss your old squeaky table in the crafts slash dining room." I'm like, "Do you want it? Because <laughs> cause I don't. I don't miss it at all. And right now it is covered with crap. It is. Oh my gosh, it's so bad. My house is a disaster right now. And, and you know what? That happens during September because there's just, there's just so much. All right. All right. We're, we're, we're over the hour mark. So let's zoom in here. Yeah, it's a mess. It's just a hot steaming mess. All right. Uh, Jules, not tools. I will try to take a picture of the crafter mouth without revealing any top secrets. Um, Lady Antique, I have, I shared a um, couple Halloween, I shared a Halloween card earlier in the week. Oh, what happened there? And I shared two at the beginning of the month. So yes, I have a couple Halloween products. And uh, if you look on my channel, you will find them. All right. Now, Mama's going to stand up. Gotta look down, gotta look down. And... Forgive the head. You are going to see the top of my head. See, I think that's pretty because it kind of just frames it out, doesn't it? Like that. Yeah, that looks like a looks like a pretty picture, doesn't it? Looks like a pretty picture frame. Okay. Now I actually do. I want to pop this up too. Let me grab another foam strip. Well, you know what? Hold on. I don't want this to have a lot of dimension, so all I'm gonna do is take some Simon Says Stamp. These are the thinner loft foam squares. And where's my pick and stick? All right, I'm gonna pick this up. See, I know Jean is gonna do some beautiful things with this. And you know, it is a silhouette set, right? And I do plan to figure out how to do the whole you know, mountains in the background and all that good stuff. But I, I just knew when I saw these trees that I wanted to make a scene. And it's pretty easy to do, you know? You don't, you don't have to be the world's greatest blender to make this happen. 
classy. It's classy. So that will give it a little dimension. See how it fits right there? Ooh. Okay. I am going to take a little bit of liquid glue that I will put on these two just so it has a little float time. And here's the thing. I don't I don't think I'm going to put anything shiny on this. Lately, um, I'm not going to boop today. I don't think so. I think I think I like this just as is, but you know, never say never. I might change my mind in the next two and a half minutes. However, what I want to do is take this. You know what I could have done with this too, which would have been nice, is just stack up cardstock. But the only reason I'm not doing it is because I didn't cut this with a die. All right, I got to refill my Gina Connect glue. This is Connect glue. And we just want that little float time with our foam squares. Now here's the beautiful thing. Oh no, it's not actually that beautiful. Oh no, it is beautiful. Okay. Um, I can use the lip here also to help me um, get it through. You know, Charlene, you're probably right. Um, all right, we're going right here. I kind of just want to have about the same space as the, uh, I kind of want the same width as the strip. Does that make sense? Like this, that space there. I want it to be about the same as the strip. I have to commit. I think I did it. I think, I think that looks really good. Woo! Okay. I don't have disco ball sequins. Um, you know, the only thing I have from Gina, although these are really neat. Um, I don't have them labeled yet. But they are, I'll show you, I'll show you. They're kind of crazy. Um, they're from This Calls for Confetti. They are really small. There's no varying sizes. In fact, I feel like I just bought a, a whole new thing of these because I think they're so neat. They are, you know, they are the iridescent. And here's what's so crazy about them. I'm going to use my smaller tool because they're so tiny. All right, check it out. Um they're just gorgeous. They're all one size. And honestly, if I just pick some random places, I am going to boop. So we'll just go. Uh, I'm going to try to be like Gina. You know how she just kind of randomly puts her glue down? I, I'm not that good. I'm going to have to go a few at a time. Okay, there's one. They're very small. And they're flat, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, cup word doesn't matter, but this gives is going to give us. I want it to be random enough. One, two, three, four, and I don't want to lose what I just did. So, oh gosh, I wasn't booping. Hold on, the pressure. Boop. Boop. Kind of got over. People who didn't like the boop, boop. Because, you know, you just got to do what you got to do. You got to do what brings the joy. Boop. Okay, this is super subtle, though. You'll see it in a minute. I can't believe I'm going all in, but one, two, three, four. Mm-hmm. Like I said, they're tiny, and I, I will update the supply lists after the video is over. I'll probably have lunch first because my stomach has been growling. And I think there's a turkey sandwich with my name on it somewhere. Boop. Sorry, gate. Okay. Just a couple more. I'm just trying to create a random scattering in the sky. I don't think I need any below. This is kind of funky. I don't know if they'll show up on camera. Boop. When I take pictures, you know, they might not. Boop. And the last one is. Boop. And that, my friends, is the finished card project. Look at that. I mean, it literally feels like a twinkling night sky. It did take it up a level. Woohoo! I love it. I got an extra thumbs down, but other than that, I love it. There, there's always someone. Ain't nothing going to break my stride. Nobody going to slow me down. No, no. Oh, yes. Yes, indeed. All right. So, my friends, 
My crafted people, that. Woohoo! My shirt practically falls off. That's my finished card project for the day using Gina's new kit. Now, I will tell you, um, you know, hopefully this inspires you. If you have like, if you have a thing of trees, try this. You don't even need masking magic. Just use masking tape and stamp, emboss, create your little funky background. Um, if you are interested in Gina's kit, it is definitely a phenomenal deal what she packages it at now. I think it might be $59.95. But what always happens with her kits is the following release, usually pieces from that kit then go into her store as individual items. And so I know that one of the things that was so popular last month were the leaves, uh, the little uh, detailed leaves. They already sold out last night when she put them in the store because I know so many people are in love with those leaves. But that is my finished card project for today. I'm really happy with it. I know this took an hour and 12 minutes, but you know, sometimes it's going to happen. And I appreciate all of you for being here and watching. Um, even the people that thumbs down, you know what? YouTube doesn't really mind. They just say, hey, people are engaging with Kathy's content. Cool. All right. So what I will do is I will take pretty pictures. I will eat lunch. Um, I will post it to the community tab and I will post a picture to Instagram as well. And I will update uh, all of the things. Penny, I don't know. I wondered that too. I feel like they might if they've got the new Gemini, but it's, it's hard to know. And I will say this, Gemini Junior has been a great machine for me. I'm really loving the Empress or Empress. So, so far, you know what? It's been great. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Everything will be updated eventually. Just be patient with me. And thank you for watching. And stay tuned because more goodness is coming to my channel very soon. All right, everyone. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.